What's going on everyone? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom in Meridian, Mississippi. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a brand new 2021 Keystone Avalanche model 338 GK. Coach comes at around 38 feet total length with a dry weight as this unit sits around 12,700 pounds. Four slides, two air conditioners, even an outdoor kitchen. Before I get too far along though, I wanna say a big thank you to all you guys. I set a goal out with this YouTube channel of around 1,000 subscribers in 12 months. And because of you, we've hit it in three. So a big thank you to all you guys. Let's get started. So here inside the coach, Avalanche 338 GK, 38 feet of camper behind the vehicle, but you're actually gonna be looking at a living space of around 34, possibly 35 feet. Four total slides, but actually in your main entertainment area, you're gonna have one, two, three slides, just giving you that much more actual living space to move around. Rear living floor plan, so you're gonna be sitting directly in front of the television. That way you're not breaking your neck looking off to the left or to the right to actually sit back and enjoy yourself. Thomas Payne collection, but let me, before I get too far, let me point out all the, the slides. You're looking at a trimmed linoleum. It's the same linoleum that's still all the way throughout the coach. It does away with all the carpet. It just gives it more character. It makes it look like it's just one longer continuous floor. Thomas Payne collection, heated and massage. Even have a built-in light, but of course that's only powered by 110. I can't, I'm plugged into the vehicle at the moment. You have the 12 volt charger there. Blackout shades all the way throughout the coach and they've even added the nice balance right there to keep all that sunlight from coming through the sides. But those are actually quite nice to have. When you say blackout, it, it really does just black out everything inside the coach. Sleeper sofa here, that's actually about the size of a queen size bed. And I will be letting this out closer to the end of the video showing you what that actually looks like. You can have wireless chargers next to the sleeper sofa here. Most of your phones nowadays are all wireless charger, but you will have steel. If you don't have the wireless port, you do have the built-in 12 volt charger there. And over here on this side, you still have a wireless charger here, but just your standard 12, excuse me, correction 110 outlets there. That's really cool. More additional cabinets up above. All the cabinets in this coach are in fact solid oak. I really like when they do that, actual real wood. And sitting it directly across from the recliners here is your entertainment slide. So you got about a 55, maybe a 50 inch flat screen TV, my Jensen, and you do have the built-in sound bar and they put the speakers for the interior speakers here and here. You do of course have your outside speakers all controlled from the sound bar actual here. AM, FM radio, Bluetooth, DVD player, CD player. I don't think anybody even listens to CDs anymore. Got about a 50 inch, you know, electric fireplace, but if you don't camp in the winter, you know, this will produce enough light to provide enough light for your guests to move around that are sleeping on that sleeper sofa over here. But the light will, excuse me, the, the heat will actually be coming from this slot here, producing around 50,000, oh man, 50, 5,000 BTUs of actual heat, which is enough heat to actually cool this lower downstairs, you know, here in the main cabin. The actual table on the unit is in fact legless, so if you're taller like myself, you're not gonna be hitting your legs. If you're actually trying to sit underneath this thing. That's really cool how they dismounted it to the back wall over there. And you do have additional storage underneath there, plus the pull-out leaflet to extend the range of the table a little bit more. All the chairs on this coach are in fact real oak, and they've stained it with kind of like a gray you know, tint trying to match all the rest of the actual hardwood throughout. These legs, excuse me, these bar stools here, underneath the bar, when you're in transit, and as you can tell, they're a little bit taller than the others. But when you're in transit, these are gonna be moved over here and actually tied down with those straps provided there. I didn't have time to just take them away and store them properly. I just kind of moved them out of the way for now just to make a quick video Camper just arrived here at Camper Kingdom. Check out the way they've done the, the different color with the stains. You got your regular stain that's on all the cabinets, but they went back and added a little darker here on the island, just giving a little bit better decor. There's another light switch under here. I wonder what this is gonna be for. Oh, check that out. How cool is that? Let's talk about the kitchen. 
So solid surface countertops all the way throughout the whole entire coach. And just look at all the prep space you're gonna have. You kinda got like a raised island here for maybe, you know, for him and her, or maybe for the grandkids to sit whenever they're visiting. But just tons and tons of room. Even have room over here for maybe a Keurig, coffee pot. Do have the 110 outlets provided there. That's gonna be the light switch for the pantry. Pantry does have, in fact, a glass accent to it there. Just loads and loads of actual room. And that light up there above, is that's just a light. That's just for additional lighting throughout the coach. 60-40 split, stainless steel sink with the residential type, actual stainless steel faucet there. And they even provided the additional covers in the solid surface to cover the sink area nicely here for more prep space, you know, when you're not actually using the sink there. And also, one cool thing that I really like is the place to hide the trash can because I don't like leaving trash cans out in the open. I like to have a place for those and nice to be tucked away. Four little pull out drawers here, all ball bearings, and they do in fact pull all the way out. And you do have additional storage underneath here, underneath that island there. Standard size Furion 3i burner controlled, of course, this is propane. And I've even added the matching drawer down here on the bottom for all of your pots and pans. And I always like to make a little joke about, you know, the size of the ovens. These things aren't big enough really to cook a turkey. You know, you're probably looking at about 19 inches across by 15 or 16 inches in depth there. Heavy duty grates, three eye burner there. Convection microwave. So that's, that's rather nice to have. And again, the glass accent on all of the cabinets throughout the whole entire coach. Samsung all electric residential French style refrigerator. There is a built in 1000 watt inverter so this coach will in fact power this refrigerator while going down the road from the vehicle power. The vehicle power will send over a trinkle charge to the house batteries and of course that house battery is what's going to be controlling that inverter which will be of course running this refrigerator. So this time we're gonna go ahead and head up into the master bedroom where you're gonna have your fourth slide. We're gonna have the king size bed and just check out the loads of room. But let me point out one thing. The only shelf you're gonna have is gonna be on this side. So if you do have a CPAP machine, that's the only shelf you're gonna be having. And you do have a couple of cutouts actually in here. Sorry about the light there, guys. Pretty cool, you know, headboard, how it's like a cloth and it's like kind of a raised headboard there. Still have the blackout shades on both sides. And as always, you do have the additional storage underneath there. So there's tons and tons of room to actually store all of your stuff. Full size closet. They've even added the glass, you know, accent there on the, on the front of those. A little locking mechanism there. And of course you do have washer and dryer connections and guys look what i just found i told you guys there was no carpet inside the coach and i've already found it always in the closet i keep always forgetting about that unit will in fact take a stack of a washer and dryer right there and here's a good quick shot of the foot of the bed just showing you how much room of actual move around room you're going to have and four pull out drawers there tv connections provided right here at the foot of the bed and all of your satellite connections and everything are up there but while we're here let me point out the air conditioning unit i failed to talk about it avalanche comes standard with two 15k whisper quiet air conditioners and I, unfortunately i don't have this camper under power but go back and look at some of my other videos that where i talk about avalanche i actually have a lot of them running so you can get an idea of just how quiet these units are porcelain foot flush toilet and once again, I told you they carried over the solid surface countertops. Plastic sink, that's more of a plastic faucet there. And of course you do have the 110 outlets provided there. Medicine cabinets with a couple of shelves. And you do have additional storage over here for maybe more of your belongings there. Hey, but while we're at it, check a look at the new swag. They got us some new shirts at Camper Kingdom. I had one of the viewers tell me I should dress more like a salesman, but 
I don't think my attire should judge me by my performance. What do you guys think? Leave, leave me, tell me down in the comments what you think about my new shirt. I kind of like them. Solid, one piece, fiberglass, shower. And I like how you got the bigger seat there and all the different shelving throughout the whole entire unit. That way you can have places for all of your stuff. So I'm a bigger guy and I like to be able to stretch out. You definitely do have plenty of room that way. And if I'm six foot two, this should give you an idea of just how much room you're gonna have when you're actually inside the coach here moving around. And again, that's just another shot of how much leg space you're gonna have inside the actual bathroom itself. At this time, oh, before I get too far along, analog thermostats, you're gonna have two. This is the one for the actual master bedroom. It's located here. And your second analog thermostat will be down here. My apology guys, I'm, it's been a long day. Second thermostat there, this is all your controls for the actual fan that's located up in the actual kitchen here. And if I can get this to open, here we go. All the controls for the actual unit, hydraulic slides. So you can have two switches controlling all four slides in the actual unit, all the light switches, your gas pump operation, it's gonna gas pump, your hot water heater for electric or gas, and these are your tank monitorings up here so you can actually monitor those stations. Last switch here is gonna be for the ceiling fan in the back. And down here is the actual nice old trim out they've done for all the circuit breakers throughout the whole entire unit. So at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the sleeper sofa just to show you guys how much room you have to walk around. So now I've got to lay out in the sleeping configuration. Once again, the coach does sleep four people. So you're gonna have two here, two up in the main living area and just you still have tons of room to move about. You can't let out that recliner, but you definitely can recline with this chair here. And you definitely have just a ton of room to move about, you know, just because of the way they laid out this floor plan. We're gonna go ahead and head outside and go over to the outside. So you're on the outside of the unit. Once again, four total slides, model 338GK, total length of 38 feet. We're gonna start off on the front and mark our way to the rear. So road armor, up here on the front of the kingpin does have that three inch bushing and built inside so that will pivot when you're starting and stopping allowing for that much more of a smoother ride kingpin weight on this coach of 2700 pounds so definitely check the towing capacity of your vehicle before purchasing this rv a front shot of the storage compartment on the front and that is an additional battery box there and you even have these little receptacles built and i'll show you that but Avalanche does not send their units with generators. You can only get these generator prepped. So if you got a generator prepped, there'd be a few more, you know, wires inside of here. To actually, if you install the generator app. The inverters, sorry about the light, up here on the top. So if you ever have to work on this thing, it's, you know, easy access right up here on the top. And these are those actual battery terminals I was referencing. So if you ever have to put a set of slave cables or a jump box on this coach, it is easy to get to. Fully automatic leveling six point hydraulic cylinders each one of these cylinders can lift upwards of 20,000 pounds so definitely well over its capacity you're just going to sit on a 12 inch drop frame construction quick view there an avalanche has rated this unit as a negative 10 degree so it is considered a four season camper the whole entire unit is just about under awning 16 foot fully electric awning here and back on the slide there for additional awning space over the outdoor kitchen about 11 feet there quick shot of your pass through storage here and they say it's about 200 cubic feet of actual space and you will have satellite connections up in the actual storage compartment there so you could place a tv down there on the actual floor sit back underneath the awning watch tv Solid step on the actual entry steps with the bigger grab handle. I like how they dropped it down just a little bit more because some of these coaches sit quite high off the ground. And if you're on the bottom step, it just allows you to grab that handle a lot much easier. Polar package, it is got the extended season protection on it with a heated enclosed underbelly on the bottom of it. And like I was saying, it is rated up to negative 10 degrees straight from the factory. Frameless windows. And these, some of these are breeze windows, so they will in fact open up to allow for a nice breeze going throughout. Outdoor kitchen. So you will have the 
two eye burner here for maybe a couple pots and pans and you still have additional tv connections built in here so maybe a small 32 inch tv it definitely wouldn't be anything big that's for sure and you do have more storage here come around to the back you're going to have in fact a fully walkable roof let me see if i can't swing by and come around this way Lad on the back for fully walkable roof. You're gonna have 3 8 decking on the roof, an actual 5 8 tongue and groove plywood for the floor. Do have the two inch receiver on the back with a 300 pound actual capacity here. I'm not gonna tell you this is for actual towing a trailer, more of a, a bike rack or a luggage rack, or maybe just for a rack for maybe an additional groove you wanna bring it along. 50 amp power connections built right in on the back there. And you can up there on the top, right underneath that marker light that's for your blindside camera prep racked and pinion slides once again they're all hydraulic so just a simple press of two different buttons and all the slides will go out and there's a shot of that spare tire which is located in the back of the coach here now we're going to talk the down and the dirty on the actual unit all of your sewer connections are gonna be located right here. So you're gonna have one place to actually do all of your dumping, which is rather nice. And before I get over there to show you the valves, 12 gallon hot water heater, and all the pull handles are actually located right inside of here. For all of your gray and your black, city water connections, your black tank flush, even additional little outdoor sprayer port there. And that's of course your key TV for all of your satellite connections up there. 16 inch alloy wheels and these are g-rated tires but let's talk about the suspension road armor trail air suspension so that way you're going to get a lot more smoother ride between the kingpin on the front and the road armor suspension actually on the actual wheels and tires here giving you that you know that much more of a smoother ride propane bottles both of them are going to be located on one side here if i can get this opened up there there we go 60 pounds between the two of the both bottles there selector switch in the middle so you can swip, switch back and forth between the two bottles and once again fully automatic leveling and all the level controls located right here on the side with direct line of sight of that actual kingpin there all around one of my favorite coaches to have when it comes to a rear living floor plan and of course if you want to see this unit check it out on the web at camperkino.com i'll leave a link in the description for all of our inventory pricing and availability but once again, thanks again to all the new subscribers. Guys, I really can't appreciate you guys enough. Going from, you know, one to 1,000 in three months really speaks volume to me. So thank you guys so much. Come see us.